Hey team, time to start one of our new warm workouts in. And today we're gonna have a nice variation of the classic CrossFit workout, Cindy. Before you start, make sure you have a chair or a couch at hand and a big sheet for your towel pull-ups or a towel as the name says, and then we can get started. To warm up first, we have three different exercises and we're gonna go for 30, 20 and 10 repetitions of each. First of which being lunges. Stand up tall, big step forward, back knee goes to the ground, and make sure your feet stay at shoulder width apart. If you feel like going into it today, you can also go for jumping lunges. That's completely up to you. 30 repetitions, and then you switch to tuck crunches. Layer your back on the floor, straighten out all the way, tuck in your knee, touch your heels, and come up 30 times. Last one, you can stay on the floor, it's gonna be hip bridges. Feet at shoulder width, below the knees, weight in the heels, bring your hips up, back down, 30 reps. After that, do 20, 20, and 20, and finish off with a round of 10 of each. Second part of the warm up, you're gonna have to grab your sheet for this, and what you're gonna do is tie a big knot at the end. Then you walk to your door, throw the knot over the top, Close the door and that's going to be your pull-up break for the day. We're going to go for three rounds of three exercises. This time you start with 10 scapular pull-ups. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your towel on your sheet and the only thing that's going to be moving is your shoulder blades and your shoulders getting all the way to the back and contracting them together. It's going to look like this. Grab the sides and lower myself down. Stretch, pull together stretch out and squeeze. 10 repetitions, then 10 push-up plus, high plank, hands below my shoulders, I'm gonna sink my shoulder blades together, keep my arms straight, push my shoulder blades all the way out. And we finish off by holding this high plank for one minute at the end of the round, and go for three rounds in total. After doing that, your towel is already set up for the workout, your shoulders, your abs, everything's nice and warm. We're gonna go and start. If you go for the beginner version today, what we'll be doing is we'll be collecting 80 reps of burpees. So a burpee would be standing up tall, jumping down to the floor, hips and chest touching the ground, coming up and jumping in the top. You wanna do this for time as fast as possible and every eight repetitions of your burpee, you're gonna go for one round of Cindy. For you, this means, three pull-ups. So three pull-ups in your towel or your sheet. Step back as far as you can. Straighten out your arms. Pull your elbows to your chest and make three repetitions. After three, you go into six couch push-ups. I have a box here. You can also use a chair, whatever you have available. Hands under the shoulders. You're going to bring your chest to the couch or the box. Collect six reps and at the end, finish each round with nine air squats. Make sure your feet are below your shoulders and you keep the weight in your heels. Once you've done that round, you go back to your eight burpees. After eight burpees, another round of Cindy. And you go and go until you've collected your 80 burpees. If you go for intermediate or experienced today, we're gonna bring the amount of reps up a little bit and we're gonna go for a hundred burpees. Again, every 10 repetitions, we're gonna go for a round of Cindy. For you, this is gonna be five of the towel pull-ups, then 10 regular push-ups, so no longer on the couch, but a high plank on the floor. Bring your chest all the way down, squeeze the glutes. Collect 10 repetitions and finish your round with 15 squats. Hops. Once you've reached 100 repetition, that's your cue, that's your time. Log it on beyond the whiteboard and see how far we get. If you're done, we just have some nice stretches to open up the hips and give the legs some rest. First is gonna be a pigeon stretch. Make a big lunge step forward, back knee goes to the floor. And you're gonna let your front knee sink to the ground. If you can, you can come up or down to your elbows, or lay all the way on the floor from the side. And we'll look like this. Try to push your hips to the ground, 
and hold this for two minutes on each side. After this, we go into a lizard stretch. Again, you make a big lunge step. This time your knee stays upright. I'm just gonna press my hips and my chest to the floor. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can bring your elbows to the ground. Again, two minutes per side. You've done your work for the day. Good job. I'll see you next time.